What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for my first Football Manager 2021 video. So, I did this last year for FM20 and it got a f quite a few views uh, for me at the time. Uh, 65 views was quite a lot for me at the time. So, yes, um, my, five top rec my top five recommended teams to manage in the FM21 beta. So, the beta will be dropping two weeks before the official release date of the game. I believe the re official release date is the 24th of November. So, we should be seeing it come out any time on the 12th of November. So, about a month away, which is not that long. Um, obviously, the trailer's been out. Um, I've watched it through... Uh, work the space and Lelujo and uh, I have to say I'm quite impressed and uh, I'm really looking forward to it so I am aiming to do a lot of FM21 videos providing I get the interest in it so I'm hoping this video and my existing videos on Football Manager 20 I've got two series running at the moment um, not long started, uh, you know, I'm, I've just released my fifth episode of The Only Way Is Up, Managing Kiru Ely in Wales and I was aiming to make it a long series, but, you know, there's not long left of FM20 now. So, you know, I've got 25 episodes recorded. So, all of those are scheduled and ready to come out on the channel. And then, alongside that, there's an FM experiment as well, uh, where I've taken six teams, uh, three from the National League North and South, and give them a load of money and see what they can do with it. I've also given them a bit of a head start by giving them some players as well and some decent managers as well. So yeah, that six part series is actually starting tomorrow. I'm aiming to release this video as soon as I finish recording it. So this will be going out Monday evening. The FM series starts tomorrow. Uh, the Rich Six, I've decided to call it. You've got Brackley, Darlington and Weymouth from the National League North. I did swap Weymouth with Leamington because I wanted to do three teams in the North, three teams in the South. And then in the South Division, you've got Bath, Hemel Hempstead and St Albans City. So if you are interested in that, guys, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on as well. And leave the videos a nice big thumbs up as well. So the more interest we get in the videos, the more likes we get, the more it goes out for more potential viewers anyway enough of the waffle let's get into this so this is my f top five recommended teams to manage in the fm21 beta so number five wigan athletic league one so wigan got relegated from the championship last season in you know kind of controversial circumstances they they did have a points deduction which unfortunately the their uh, appeal to it was rejected and they ended up getting relegated despite finishing 11th in the league no not 11th sorry 13th and then having that 10 point deduction which did put them I think in either 22nd or 23rd place and because of their financial problems as well they sold quite a few players over the summer as well now I don't think there's been any points deduction so far this season uh, but I think they have struggled to start with. So it could be an interesting save, certainly. Um, if you like a challenge, I would certainly recommend this. Number four, Southend United, League Two. Very much the same as Wigan, but Southend were terrible in League One last year. It's, uh, you know, it's no surprise, really. You know, they, they really, really struggled. You know, if Bolton didn't have that points deduction, then Southend would have finished bottom of the league. And, yeah, their results on pitch were absolutely dreadful. I believe Sol Campbell walked out of the club. Um, I'm not even sure who's managing them now. But now they're in League 2. They got absolutely destroyed on the opening game of the season by newly promoted Harrogate. I think it was 4-0. So, again, another tough challenge for any of you go-getters. You know, if you want a challenge, you know, to keep this team in the league, turn their fortunes around, get them back to the championship because they were there not actually that long ago. You know, probably 10, 12 years ago they were in the championship. Uh, so, yeah, I would certainly recommend Southend if you want a challenge. Likewise, on number three, Wickham Wanderers, who are in the championship. So, out of, you know, with League One and League Two ending early, because of the global pandemic. Wickham Wanderers actually finished in the playoff positions. Now, I think it was done on average. Because Wickham, I think, played a game less than Peterborough. So they automatically took over their playoff spot. I think it was that way. I could be wrong. But yeah, Wickham ended up winning the playoffs. I believe the final they won against Fleetwood. 
Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, they beat them. And I think it might have been on penalties or after extra time. But yeah, Little Wickham. I would say Little Wickham. Then, you know, they're not that big of a club. But the thing is, this just reminds me of when Yeovil Town got promoted to the Championship back in 2014, 2015. And they had a good start. They won 1-0 away at Millwall. And then since then, it's just been on the decline. And Yeovil now find themselves in the National League. So I just hope the same doesn't happen to Wickham Wanderers. Because I do like them as a team. I think Gareth Ainsworth has done an absolutely terrific job. You know, on the brink of the team going out of the Football League altogether. Being relegated to the National League. Where, um... So yes, another challenging team, but um, one I would think a lot of people would be interested in doing. Number two, Leeds United Premiership. So, Leeds United have been out of the Premier League for, I think, about 15, 16 years. So now they're back in there, I think they'll want to stay in there. You know, I think with their signings, Bielsa's done a great job so far in the Premier League with Leeds. I, I don't think it's gone unnoticed. You know, their terrific result against Liverpool, you know, they did lose, but they lost 4-3. They then had a return result against Fulham with by the same, same scoreline, where they won 4-3. They had an impressive 1-1 draw against Manchester City recently as well. And, yeah, I think they've had a cracking start. And I think they could maybe make top 10 in the Premier League this season. And I think this, again, would be a challenge, you know. They probably have got money to spend, regardless of the amount of signings that they've already made. But yeah, I reckon this could be a really good team to work with. You know, you give it five years, you could be fighting for Champions League. Who knows? Who knows? And number one is Arsenal. So, I was talking between Arsenal and Chelsea as number one because Chelsea have spent the money, so they, you know, they want success. I think they've spent over £250 million in this transfer market. You know, Hajik, uh, Werner, Hervets. Uh, Thiago Silva, even though Thiago Silva was a free transfer. There was another one. I'm sure there was another one as well. Uh, name escapes me. Uh, come on. Who was it? It's completely gone. I've got no idea. But yeah, between Arsenal and Chelsea. So I've gone with Ars Arsenal because they've won a few cups recently. They won the FA Cup against Chelsea and the Car the Community Shield against Liverpool recently. So Arsenal, I think, recorded their worst Premier League finish. You know, for like I, I have no idea how long it's been, but I think they finished eighth or ninth. And for Arsenal, that is absolutely terrible. I mean, to finish sixth is terrible for Arsenal, where they were this time ten years ago. They were fighting for the title. Yeah, they haven't won the title since 2004, since their invincible season. But maybe it's time for them to win it again under your leadership. You know, now out the teams I'm thinking about uh, starting the FM21 beta with, uh, maybe Oldham Athletic and uh, recommended as well South End United. I'm thinking because I think they're going to be two really tough jobs. They're not going to have a lot of money. Their their finances are going to be uh, rubbish. I've literally just said that in two different ways there. But yeah. So yeah, Arsenal. It could be. It's a challenge. You know, challenging for top four maybe in three years or so. But you know, probably have financial backing. Uh, hopefully patience as well. I think they will have patience because I think Arteta didn't really start very well. But I think he'll come round. You know, I think maybe give him a season or two, he may make the top four with Arsenal. But I, I just don't know. You know, they've signed uh, Thomas Partey from, I think it was Atletico Madrid or Atletico Bilbao. I do get confused between those two. Uh, for um, potentially a club record, 45 million. No, it's not a club record because that was Pepe the season before. I do apologise. But yeah, so that is my five recommended teams to manage in the FM21 beta. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you're going to be managing when the beta drops as well. And yeah, like I say, guys, I've got... You know, by the time FM21 comes out, I will have a backlog of FM20 videos. You know, I'll have the Rich Six that will be finished. Uh, the first video on that actually starts tomorrow. So make sure if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified as soon as those videos come out. Now, for a while now, 
probably up until FM21 comes out, I'm going to be doing daily Football Manager videos. So, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday will be the only way is up. I'm currently managing Kiru Ely in the in Wales. And the Tuesday, Thursday and fr and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday slot will be the FM experiment. So, starting from tomorrow and running for two weeks. So, starting this Tuesday, ending not the, not this Saturday, the Saturday after. That will be the rich six. So, I explained it at the start of the video. Six clubs, three from the north, three from the south of the Vanarama National League. We've given them a load of money. Uh, top players, top managers to start with. You know, I gave them four uh, like older players, so one keeper, one defender, one midfielder, one striker, and one wonder kid at probably completely at random. So yeah, I'm seeing how they go on. So yeah, be sure to um, like I say, guy. I've I've said it quite a few times already, but yeah, I am going to be releasing a lot of Football Manager content over the next few months. You know, when FM21 drops, I've like I say, like I said earlier, I have it pre-ordered, so I will be putting videos out on that straight away you know it isn't going to be the main focus of my channel you know the majority of the time i've been focused mainly on ww supercard but i did want to expand into a different niche i think is the correct word for it you know i want to attract you know a different audience and just in general more viewers to the channel you know the more experiments i do on certain games the more viewership it will gain and hopefully the more interest it will gain so yeah, like I say, with some of these things, I am experimenting at the moment. If they're not working out, then I may drop them. I don't know. But, you know, because of the new channel name, I think it makes sense for me to try different things. Because Parker does everything. So, there you go. So guys, yes, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up if you have. And do subscribe if you are new as well. And like I say, thanks again for watching. I will see you very soon. Ciao for now. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up and do hit the subscribe button if you are new as well. Lots of different content now on this channel, guys. Football Manager, WWE Supercard, Wrestling and Football Prediction. You can follow me on Twitter at pplays300 and on Twitch at parkerplays300. If you would like to get your name in the credits for each of the videos that I post, make sure you subscribe to the channel and most importantly, be nice, be awesome and I'll chat to you soon. Ciao for now.